riding a bicycle sitting more than five feet in the air. And we're not talking a unicycle <laughs> or getting another look at that Schwinn that you longed for as a kid. Well, you can find both and a whole lot more at an exhibit at the Elmhurst History Museum. Come take a ride with me. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. Come coast into the bicycle, two wheels, to adventure. Curator Sarah Cox assembled this collection of vintage spokes, gadgets, and gears showing how the bicycle evolved from novelty to a transportation necessity. All I ever knew about bicycles was I used to ride one. So I really had to delve deep and find out more about how the bicycle came to be, how it influenced society, how it influenced infrastructure here in the United States. We begin at the top with the Bone Shaker, designed by Carl Von Dres back in 1817. Not really a speed demon with wooden tires and a wrought iron frame. It is extremely heavy. <laughs> hence, hence the bone shaker. Hence the bone shaker, exactly. And you mentioned the term header came from these bikes. Because when you went flying bike. off, you take a header. Safer bikes came along by the late 1800s. You start to see kind of an explosion of bicycle manufacturers here in the area. With mainstay Schwinn leading the way, there were more than 400 bike makers in the Chicago area near the turn of the century. In Elmhurst, more bikes spawned a new business, bicycle repair shops. The first bicycle shop was actually a plumber shop, um, and so he fixed bicycles and did your plumbing. Cycling also affected fashion, especially for women riding their way to independence. In the early 20th century, was there any pushback for women riding bikes? Women at the time were supposed to be in the home taking care of the family. Um, the clothing they wore was not conducive to riding a bike. Or comfortable. Or comfortable <laughs> I mean, at all. Women um, decided, you know, they wanted to change fashion. So instead of wearing those big Victorian skirts, they wore bloomers. We have our button looped bicycle boots. Boots back then had laces. Laces got caught in pedals. And we met a new face at the exhibit, Elmhurst's own J. Hart Rosdale, who for years held the distinct title of being the world's most traveled man. The Indiana Jones type explorer visited over 200 countries, accompanied by his trusty bicycle that he nicknamed Jacqueline. Hey, I grew up watching that guy. Good old Captain Kangaroo. Oh, Where did you get yeah. this? <laughs> So this is what happens when you do exhibitions. You end up going through rabbit holes. I saw a picture of this bicycle, uh, which is a Schwinn Stingray. It's called a Lemon Peter. Our cameraman Mike begged for one of these as a kid. Hey, who didn't? Good thing it's bolted down. Mike Klingel might take this. I know, I know. <laughs> The Illinois Prairie Path was founded in 1963, inspired by the bike trails of Europe. I hopped on this bike to take a virtual tour. So when the rubber meets the road, what does Cox want this exhibit to do? Hopefully inspiring people to get out there, take the bicycle out of the garage, uh, and get out there and create your own two wheels to adventure. That was a lot of fun. The Bicycle Two Wheels to Adventure runs through September 17th at the Elmhurst History Museum right in downtown Elmhurst. So you still got a couple of weeks to check it out. That's very cool. I yeah. like that. Okay.